Hi guys, this is a tutorial on how to set up your branded Zoom profile image. So for the purposes of this training, we're gonna assume that you're familiar with Zoom, the video conferencing platform. And we're also gonna assume that you've already downloaded the app to your computer. So why would we need to have a branded profile image? Well, it's really simple. A lot of times with Zoom, there's a meeting that's at a scheduled time and we join the meeting early, right? We join the meeting early, a few minutes before everyone gets on the call. And so it looks, a lot of people are like, not sure if they got into the Zoom meeting prop, uh, properly. Uh, they're not sure if they're in the right place. They're not sure if you're there, they're ready to talk, they're ready to interact. I know for me, sometimes I'm setting up forms or documents or training materials, but I just want to make sure that the line is open before they jump on. So. What I find is people try and talk to me. They say, hello, hey, is anybody there? Hey, Jay, how you doing? Can And it's like, it's not right time to get started yet. And then another reason that you want to have one is because sometimes you have to take a break. And if you take a break and people don't know if you're gone, if you're back. I know for me, um, I don't want necessarily people to see what's going on on in my background when I take a break. So I created this branded graphic as my profile image to um, let people know I'm away, but I'll be back shortly. And I love the fact that it's branded. So it's a constant reminder that it is some um, that who they're connected to. So how do you create this? So the first thing, of course, guys, we're going to go into Canva. We're going to go into Canva. Now, I've already kind of set this thing up. Um, the dimensions are 600 by 600. And I went ahead and created a square graphic um, and put my brand, the please hold text on here. And it's already created. And then I save this down to my computer. Once that's done, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. So one of the things you can do is actually go into Zoom. I'm going to end this meeting so you don't see this anymore. Okay, and I don't want to rate the experience. But if you actually go into the where the Zoom interface is set up, you actually see settings. That's the little gear over here right under the profile image. And you go to profile. And then you hit the arrow. And you can actually change the image here and upload it. I personally do not like to do it this way because it changes the size of the image. So I put the image in here, right? I want to click save. And I'm going to close this. And then when I go back to my meeting, this image is a little bit smaller. And I didn't crop it correctly um, because you do have the, the ability to size it. I didn't do all of that because I don't like the way that it looks from inside here. So I'm going to go ahead, but that is an option. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the second way, which is the way I prefer, which is to actually go into my Zoom account. So I'm actually going to go over here, go into the Zoom account. I'm logged into Zoom. And if you go over here, the first thing you see is profile. And what I want to do is click change to change the image. I'm going to click upload. Find the image that I want and then click OK going to upload the image and I'm going to resize it here. Take the edge of the boxes, drag it out. And because it's already square, this is why I created it square. Again, the dimensions here are 600 by 600. I want to make sure that I drag every inch out to the edge and then click save. Okay, so it's saved there. Let's go back to the Zoom app and click new meeting. And as you can see, the image here is now larger, which is what I prefer. So because I get a larger image from doing it inside the actual Zoom, um, the actual Zoom.com, Zoom.us, excuse me, Zoom.us, I actually get a larger image in here. I prefer that. 
but you can also do it inside the app. Again, I am Jay Stone, Master Brand Strategist, and we'll see you back here for the next tutorial. Thanks.